Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 8.4. It's hard to believe that just 4 hours after iOS 8.4 was released, we already have a jailbreak for it. Of course, whenever you mess around with anything related to modifying your iOS device, you always want to make sure you have a fresh backup of your iPhone to iTunes because just in case you would lose data or something would go wrong in the process, it likely won't, but just in case, you always want to have a backup of your phone somewhere, like I said, in case something would go wrong. Once you've backed up your phone and you have iTunes installed on your computer, because that is necessary for the Taiji jailbreak to work, you want to launch your web browser and head over to taiji.com slash en. You'll see that it's been recently updated for iOS 8.4. Scroll down just a tad until you see the big blue download box and then click on that to initiate the download of the 8.4 jailbreak utility. Now it might take a few minutes to download depending on the speed of your internet connection so I'm going to skip over that but once it has finished downloading go ahead and launch it up. Find it it'll probably be located in your downloads folder at least that's where I found mine and then double click again to launch up the Taiji jailbreak utility. Once you're here, it's going to say checking jailbreak environment and it'll probably tell you that you need to disable Find My iPhone. So let's head over to our iOS device and first disable Find My iPhone. Now I had to cover that up because obviously it shows email and I can't show you guys my password. But once you've disabled Find My iPhone completely, if you had it turned on in the first place, you also need to head over to the passcode section in the settings app in case you have a passcode enabled. For whatever reason, if you have either Find My iPhone or the passcode on your device enabled, the Taiji jailbreak will either A, refuse to work, or B, have issues along the way. So you have to do these two things for the jailbreak to function properly. I would also highly recommend enabling airplane mode because it seems like it makes the jailbreak work more often than not. Now, it isn't necessary to enable air airplane mode. You don't have to do it, but it does seem like I've had pretty good luck when I've enabled airplane mode in the past. And now that we've done these three things, we can head back over to our computer and start the jailbreak process. I'm going to speed this part up just for the sake of time, but I'd say that the entire jailbreak from start to finish will only take around 5 to 7 minutes, maybe 10 minutes at the very most. It doesn't take long whatsoever. Now when the Taiji jailbreak team released their iOS 8.3 jailbreak just last Tuesday I think, there were tons of issues. People were getting stuck, including myself, at 20 and 60%. You had to have a very specific version of iTunes, which I don't think you have to have anymore, and nothing was really updated once you got City installed. You couldn't install any tweaks right off the bat. I'm happy to tell you that most, if not all, of the issues that I've experienced with the previous version of the jailbreak tool have been fixed this time around. You guys can see, it doesn't restart whatsoever. I literally started the jailbreak and finished the jailbreak on my first try. If you do have some issues where it doesn't work, you might want to restore to a clean version of iOS 8.4 because if you update it through the settings app over the air, it's not like the entire update. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's not the full iOS 8.4 firmware. It's just the updated version of it. So if you do have issues, you might want to try reinstalling or you might want to try restoring to a clean version of iOS 8.4 using iTunes on your computer. Once the jailbreak is finished, it's okay to go ahead and click the green button on the bottom of the jailbreak tool on your computer, and then we can head back over to our iOS device. Now slide to unlock and locate an application called Cydia that's now on your home screen somewhere. When we launch that up, it has to prepare its file system which is full of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of files that it has to sort and go through. So this, this part might even take longer than the jailbreak did for you. I think it took 5-6 minutes for me, but it might vary depending on the speed of your device. I would assume that newer devices, newer devices like the iPhone 6 would complete this faster than say an iPhone 4S. Once Cydia's file system is done preparing itself, your device will automatically restart and it will shoot you back over to the lock screen. Just slide to unlock one more time. Tap on Cydia once again, and now you have successfully jailbroken iOS 8.4. You can install tweaks, themes, and all that other good jailbreak stuff that we love installing. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, feel free to drop a like down below. And of course subscribe for loads more content on jailbreaking in the coming days. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. I will talk to you guys in the next one.